Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to go through a quick presentation of uh, what we do at Magellan and give you a little bit uh, uh, more understanding of the company as well. So here's our mission statement. It's pretty broad as a mission statement. We are basically trying to help high-value-added semiconductor and embedded system leaders to substantially, uh, sustainably uh, leverage their business expertise. Uh, it's, it's pretty broad because we cover a lot of different technologies and uh, I'm going to try to explain a little bit what we do and how we achieve that. Um, industry challenges that we are identifying and seeing with our customers, well, competitive environment, they're all trying to shorten development cycles. I mean, it's pretty regular one that you will see it with every uh, companies. Uh, always integrate more and more content from multiple sources. This is something that we are trying to address specifically. Uh, deliver market breakthrough products uh, and need first time right process. Actually, we are trying to do to help them in repeatable processes and not just achieve the first, uh, uh, first time right process. Um, we control R&D effort as well, uh, and we are trying to address hardware and software. Um, in terms of limiting factor, uh, the one that we see are uh, Manual operations, it's a lack for automation, obviously. Um, inconsistent data, um, when you basically look at uh, a wide uh, product line with a wide range of different products, and you're creating design derivatives, you end up with a lot of information and making sure that all these data are consistent. So when you deliver your product, everything is aligned correctly is, is a challenge. Um, proprietary legacy database and flows, of obviously uh, trying to avoid having to use proprietary format and rely more on standards. Um, limited cross team synergy as well. Okay, so how do we address that? Well, we try to leverage legacy of our customers, first of all, and we help them reuse whatever they have. So IP reuse is one of the key value we bring. Um, we help them automate design and uh, also, when we say design, we look at products, actually, and a, and a product is a combination of design and documentation. So documentation is also something that we uh, uh, provide solution for. Uh, once you have that in place, you create some kind of referential, so you can have uh, IPs that get distributed and shared with a clean referential, and you can uh, circle back to your legacy as well. All right, so... Um, these are the pain and what we call painkillers, the solution that we provide to our customers. Um, here you see a little bit the uh, uh, different products that we have in our uh, solutions. We have a main product line in design, so we have an EDA tools to help uh, capture front-end design, uh, uh, I mean it's a front-end design capture environment uh, for hardware and software along with a content uh, solution, which is basically what you would have to manage your technical documentations. Um, and we have combined these two solutions to uh, uh, help uh, the synchronization of documentation and design, along with driving uh, design from specification requirements. So this is very helpful to address some of the key issues like, oops, uh, let me go back. Uh, like enable interoperability and design reuse. That's uh, uh, a key requirement. We are trying to help multiple teams that are us usually distributed uh, across the world, not necessarily speaking the same language. So we address that through our uh, solution. Align all stakeholders with a collaborative exchange. Uh, it's accessing uh, design data, uh, like review cycles are very painful we make uh, the data, data uh, available to uh, every users. So uh, again, the way we address that is by uh, managing heterogeneous content. Uh, like I said, it's not just about design data, it's not just about RTL. A product is a wide range of different views, ranging from RTL, documentation, <laughs> software. Uh, these are things that we, we help with uh, uh, to automate processes. Uh, reuse, refit, repurpose, reverse engineering are also things that we help with. Um, 
So how does the XML-based metadata description standard uh, help with the, all of that? Well, um, first of all, because it's an industry standard, it's an IEEE standard, uh, it's very uh, easy to share uh, information this way. Uh, you have an ecosystem attached to that. Uh, it's easy to integrate third-party IPs because everybody now is supporting IP exact. Um, the fact that it is uh, supporting both hardware and software, it's easier to keep them consistent with each other. Um, automation and uh, tools uh, can be built on top of this uh, machine-readable format. Um, we've seen uh, also um, uh, more interoperability between tools. We see a lot of a lot more tools supporting IP exact, um, so that helps as well. Um, and uh, in terms of uh, uh, standard, well, it's undisputed standard. Uh, that's the only really standard available uh, for IP uh, reuse. Okay. Uh, so, in terms of uh, how do we relate to the standard? Well, we've been a driver of that standard from uh, day one. Uh, we've been working uh, with IP Exact for ten years, so we are recognized as a key leader in that. Um, I'm probably going to skip that. I already explained a little bit the uh, strategy around our tools and how the product lines works together. Uh, this is just a summary. Uh, the key value that we, he we do here, how do we enable the content, the specification, the design, and the documentation to be uh, linked together is by creating uh, what we call a hub of links. We're creating links between different data. So when you uh, modify, let's say, your design, you can keep in sync your documentation, and if you modify the specification, you can also update your, your design and documentation. Um, probably not gonna spend too much time on that. This is again uh, talking about the uh, uh, hub of links. Um, why people do use us? It's because they wanna make sure that all the actors that are uh, working on the development of a product, whether they are um, hardware designer, architects, uh, verification engineer, uh, even people working on the documentation side, uh, they can collaborate and exchange data. Okay, and uh, managing a product, if you make a change somewhere, you wanna be able to propagate that everywhere. So that's what we're addressing here. And uh, the other thing that is important uh, with Magem, it's a non-disruptive technology, which means it does not require Unlike many people may think, it does not require to change your infrastructure. It's a thin layer because it's an XML-based format. It sits on top of your existing infrastructure. So this year we have introducing two new products. I mean, people use us to capture their design data. Now we have more and more people asking us, give us a way for external users to access this design data because it's important for them to review and, uh, um, and put in place some kind of review process using our tools. So we have created a design data analytics that is basically a web-based interface that gives access directly to the design data. We have also, we are very active also, sorry, very active in uh, virtual prototyping. Uh, so we have a solution now to uh, create virtual platforms for early software uh, simulation. So that completes, I would say, our portfolio of products, which is quite significant. Um, and the other product I did not mention is for architecture exploration. We see more and more people asking us to enter the flow as quickly as possible, as early as possible, and get the architects involved. Uh, this is our ecosystem. Uh, I think everybody confirmed that ecosystem are very important. It's true also for us, even the how broad is uh, the spectrum that we cover for the development. Uh, it is key for us to have a strong ecosystem. Okay. Well, when you have a good ecosystem and a good tool, that translates in quite a few customers. So we are pretty successful. This is a list of our customers. Most of our uh, revenue is coming from outside France. Uh, most of our biggest customers are in the United States and Asia. and. Uh, yeah, we have customers in semiconductor as well as system houses. And uh, through our uh, 
content solution we also have in the legal industry <laughs> and publishing industry. Okay. Uh, well, in order to help all these customers, we are a very global company and we have uh, people pretty much everywhere. We have uh, offices in the United States, Japan, India, uh, China. We opened an office recently uh, in Asia. And also we, we use distributor, obviously. 